How you doing today, friends? We're gonna set up Harbor Freight 200 watt solar system. I got two of these 100 watt systems. And uh, we're gonna show you here before we're done how to set this up and tie it into the grid. So anything that we can produce um, is gonna save us off our utility bill. So uh, stay tuned here and be patient. See what we got in here. Well, there's the box of goodies. In here we have a uh, solar panels. Just set that aside for now. Oops! I hope I didn't break nothing. And uh... Okay, we have um, brackets, I guess, to mount the solar panels down with some hardware. See that, and uh, some wires, solar charger, some cables, and uh, some lights. So, uh, that's that so far. Let me get rid of some garbage. Hang tight. I'll be right back. <clears throat> well, what we're doing here is we're installing 200 watts of Harbor Freight solar panels. That's two kits. But, that's south. And, it's going to be roughly 12 foot long or so and when they're set up and they need to go on an angle this way so as you can see where we stack some firewood and this privacy fence we installed and there's some stuff behind there we store like empty garbage cans and stuff um, we're moving all that right now and we're going to move this fence so that we can put our solar panels in here Just a little information here, these do-it-yourselfers. This is a green epoxy coated deck screw. I don't know, let me see here. If you can see that, and the rust on it, that screw was in there for 11 years when I put the fence up. These are some I had left over when I built my deck out back. This is a galvanized screw. And you can see the corrosion and rust on that. Although it was still doing its job. That's been in that fence for about 3 years. You saw that foam insulation. Little Jim Country boy carried away. That was holding that on the back. 
and I know I put that up there three to four years ago. This is another galvanized screw that has three years of age maybe on it and it's not too bad out of the same batch as this one. But the majority of the screws that were up there are deck screws like this. Now this is from the original installation of the fence 11 years ago. This is the beige colored epoxy deck screw. It shows absolutely no sign of corrosion whatsoever. And there's a little bit, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, there's little shiny spots where the paint's removed. Either from going in or going out probably. But there's still no actual sign of rust. Even in the head there, where I about stripped it, putting it in 11 years ago. See that? There's no rust on that screw. So if you're going to build something outside in the weather, I recommend beige colored deck screws. They look like they're the ones to use. Sorry, I hope we didn't miss too much. I just happened to hear my phone. I got a text message and uh, I checked and it wasn't recording. I don't know how for how long. I'll check later when I review it, but the battery died. Battery failure. Okay, here's where we have an outlet installed, a dedicated outlet for solar, and the door don't quite open all the way, but it's on its own breaker. Reason being is, we're going to install this grid tie-in inverter, and this one's pretty slick comes with this power cord, plugs in here, and all you need to do is hook your battery or your solar panels here, and then plug it in, and then that's how you tie into the grid, and then the power from the solar goes right up through the breaker panel and back out to the power lines, or up into the house if we're going to use it. The way we use electric, I don't think there's any going to go out to the power lines. So, what I'm going to do is mount this up here, and I chose uh, just about an inch and a half drywall screws I happen to have, and uh, just to make sure it don't slip out of that slot, I put a little washer on them, and uh, just to make things easy. I'm going to start the two on this side. And get them close and then just scoop that under because they're not holes. They're just like notches. I'll show you in a second here. Too much pocket length my way. See, there's a notch. It's not actually a hole. Step to this side, maybe you can see better. 
just going to slide that behind the washers. get to this side here just so you can see that's why I started that screw because it's a lot less to hold and then we're just going to put two more on the other side Again, with washers just to be on the safe side so it doesn't fall and hang or short out. Apologize for blocking your view. Just a lot easier for me. I'm right here to start them with my right hand. I'm sure if you're going to do this, you know how to put a screw on with a screw gun. Should hold that on there and then this will plug in under here like so next to the power switch and then that'll be hooked in like that the breakers off but I'll feel better if I unplug it for now now this is the uh, charge for the solar this is the charge regulator it comes with the solar system and we're just going to mount this up here quick with four screws these are actually little tiny holes I don't think I need any uh, I don't think I need any washers on this one these little uh, inch and a half Phillips head drywall screws I'm using Now we got to go get some wires. And we're going to put the battery down here on a block of wood. Don't set a battery on concrete or the ground. I was always told it'll help them draw it dead and it can short them out with the static electricity in the earth. So I don't know. I put a board under it and I don't have to worry. But over here is a piece of wood used to be a basement window I guess at one time but I bought the house that was open I closed it off with wood and as you can see the dryer vent stuff goes out there okay this is the wire that puts the power into the charge controller from the solar panel there's a little picture here that tells you or you can read the paperwork I glance through it. You just push it in and then tighten up the screws nice and snug. Don't break it, but nice and tight.
And uh, these are actually the lights, 12 volt lights that come with it from Harbor Freight. Pretty nice. If I put this on, can everybody still see that? Too bright. A little bright maybe for the camera. Okay. So now we have this hub that we and um, I screwed these in. This is from Harbor Freight. I mean, I guess that's the only way to mount it. I tied this string on an old nail up there in the ceiling in the basement of my home. Um, gonna try to hang it here like a little flying saucer. Go yeah, with the rest of them we catch flying around here all the time. And now um, this piece. goes in here, any hole I guess, it's all hooked together, it doesn't matter. The plug will only go in in one direction. This is going to go to the charge controller. If I can get it in there. Okay. Now we've got two 100 watt systems. So we have two wires from each bank of solar panels. We need to connect I don't know if you can see that. It went pretty snug. I don't think they're going to fall out. I guess that'll just hang out there for a little bit. You can wind up some of the cord line. Keep it above my light so my light is still effective. Now this is the charge controller here that comes with the solar system for Harbor Freight. I actually have a spare one. I only need one. It's good up to 300 watts from the literature I read on it. These are the inputs for the lights. There's actually a third one and it comes with a pigtail if you wanted to steal 12 volts out of there for some place. I used house current wire like this and I took the coating and the paper off and I separated them. This should be heavy and sufficient enough to hold any voltage or amperage. This comes down here to my battery which is a marine battery, deep cycle, 100 amp hour marine battery. And then the two leads come back up and go into my grid tie-in inverter. And now this has an on-off switch underneath and it just simply plugs in and plugs into this outlet. Now I had this outlet installed. It's a dedicated outlet to my breaker panel. So if I want to test what we're charging, as you'll see in the future, I could turn every other breaker off except for my main and the one for this and then there's nothing else interfering with my voltage readings to see how this solar system is going to do so now we have to go out and let's set up the solar panels and plug them into the other ends of these cables outside Now, we got that hooked up in the basement. It's just a matter of unpacking these and putting these connections on. 
and uh, we're going to try to do that right quick for you. Okay, we come back down the cellar here. This is a kilowatt meter that you can buy. It's actually gonna tell us how much power we're generating in kilowatts, like appears on your electric bill. Kilowatt hours. Um, if you can see that. It'll tell you voltage, amperage. That's some more light here. It's 114.8 volts right now. That is the power company, okay? And the way this works is, it's gonna computer, in there is gonna adjust it so it's just a little higher than that voltage outside. And you're gonna see that go up when I flip this on. But that battery had 12.3 volts, I believe. You can rewind your footage and look. Um, now, as you can see, it has, uh, couple of cables out of the way 13 volts and it's only been just however long it took us to connect all the solar painters as you saw in the video now down here there's a switch and I got a green light it's gonna blow back and then come on red that's not good now it's going to green now we're producing power. But now, that's the amps we're pushing. And that'll be kilowatts that it's gonna click as they generate. And remind you, today it's cloudy out. These solar panels do produce power on a cloudy day. And as you can see here, in the middle of here, we're charging power from the solar panel, the hours, arrows indicating it. And now we dropped the 12.2 volts this battery, like I said, was low, needs to charge, and now it's producing power to the grid, actually. So, if I flip the tie-in converter off, tie-in inverter off, my volts should come up again. Now I'm gonna charge this battery for a little bit, and then I'm gonna flip it back on. <clears throat> 